Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. This is Walter. And we are taking our evening stroll on Galveston Island on the beach. This building is the office area, bathroom, and laundry room. You do have to climb the stairs. Okay, this is the bathroom area. They actually have, this is the dressing area, and they've got four shower areas on this side and on the other side. This is also where the washing machines are. They've got four here, and this last one is for pets. It's $2.50 to wash, $2.00 to dry, and it's, they keep it very well maintained. And here's the other side of the shower. You do have an elevator to get you down to the first floor since the building is high up on stilts. And this is their viewing deck where you can see the Gulf of Mexico. And they have a pond right here with this beautiful fountain to keep the mosquitoes down. And they've got a water park right over there and they do turn it on at about I think 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning and they have a lovely pool area let me walk over there it's a good size pool a lot of people use it during the daytime okay, from here you can see pretty much the whole park now these two homes right here this yellow house and this blue house they rent those out for almost $400 a day. <laughs> it does come with a lot of amenities. I think it sleeps like 20 people inside. And then where that other blue house is over there, that is the other bathroom with washers and dryers. Now the women's has four washers and dryers also, and so does the men. So. They're not lacking of washers and dryers, and they keep this park immaculately clean. It's incredible. You will not find debris anywhere. You'll find leaves and grass clippings, but that's about it. No, no trash. They do an amazing job. They also have this playground for children. It's pretty large, and then they've got two barbecues over here in this little triangle. People are out here in the weekends doing barbecues. And this is the other side of the park. Here is the RV side setup. Yes, we have two pink flamingos now. And a bench that actually turns into a table. So this backside flips over and becomes a table. It's really quite interesting. Sewage, water pressure is excellent. 50. 50 amp hookup so all the pedestals in this park are wonderful and also the pavement it's all concreted and leveled left and right so you don't even have to do levels no one's had to level I've had that we are right next to one of their Wi-Fi towers so Wi-Fi has been incredible in this park no problems connecting whatsoever and so it's a definite yes with, for the Stella Mar RV Park here in Galveston. Here we are at the ferry entrance, leaving Galveston Island. We were actually asked to evacuate this afternoon at 3.30. So it is now 4.30. Oh, it's 5 o'clock. And we are on our way to Lofkin, Texas, where we will spend one night and then head over to Shreveport, Louisiana, upper, that's in the upper part of Louisiana, and we'll be there for four nights. So again, on the ferry, we've been kicked out of Galveston Island. They have closed all the RV parks and have asked all the owners and managers to kick everyone out. They're not allowing RVs here on the island for the next two days so again we're evacuating the island 
never had to evacuate before first time there's apparently Marco and Laura or some hell storm that's converging and hitting this the Gulf area I don't know everyone is saying that it's just gonna be a bad rainstorm Here we are at the Lofkin RV Park in Lofkin, Texas. We were here for one night. I'm very appreciative that they were able to put us up for tonight because our reservation is actually two nights from now. But since we were kicked out of Galveston Island by the government, by the mayor, the government doesn't know what they're doing anymore. You can't really trust them because they said that the the two storms were gonna hit nothing hit nothing I don't know who they're listening to but they're wrong <laughs> well, well, instead of listening to someone why don't you just look at the national forecast we'll look at the satellite or it was use, headed or, or use common sense yeah common sense no longer in government uh, it's just like those government employees that said that the coronavirus would kill 2.5 million Americans uh, yeah, it hasn't even come close. 170,000 at this point. So we shut down the whole country because of a false forecast and those people still have jobs. Anyway, we, would we stay here at Lofkin again? The answer would be yes. So, yes, we would stay here again. Water is very warm. Thank you for watching. Bye.